Yeah. 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 He served on the rock. That's right. He served on the rock. On the rock. You know what the rock is? Holy minority he took. Amen. Hallelujah. His church is built on the truth. That's yes. Right. So I I am seeking the Lord for truth. Truth. You know something? I've often said, tell the Lord, Lord, I don't want to be deceived. That's why oh, I no. tell it. And Lord, I really don't want to deceive nobody. Lordy, my no. Lordy, it's it's right. You know, it's, it's bad to deceive yourself. That's right. But it's, it's worse when you deceive somebody else. Right. And there are yes. people all over this world tonight that are deceived and loving it. That's right. That's right. Lord Jesus, help them. God help them. Lord. Yes, God help them. Oh, that's all it is, one verse, huh? Well, I'm in this church, y'all know it, don't you? Yes, Lord. Yes, you see it with me. Well, I'm in this church. It's a glorious church.
Bless those that have the gift and those that don't have the gift. Lord, we ask you to bless them just the same. And we give you the glory and the praise and the honor for all of it in your wonderful, holy, righteous name. Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, 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 Jesus,
I was, you know, smoker, and uh, I went to mom and I said, Mama, I said, uh, tell me what's going on. She said, what is it? I said, well, I said, I got this cigarette in my hand between my fingers and I can't let Brother Billy see that I've got it. And I said, what's, wrong? what's going on? She said, God's convicting you of them cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't let Brother Billy see this cigarette. And she said, well, God's convicting you of that cigarette, Carolyn. Thank you, Jesus. He don't want you to smoke. Yes. So at that time, uh, I had a sister-in-law. She's my ex-sister-in-law now. And she was smoking pot. She was smoking cigarettes. And you know, I was trying so hard to not smoke, Brother Mark. And those cigarettes were laying on her patio table outside. And something said, oh, it wouldn't hurt for you to just get one and, and smoke it. And I said, no, I don't want them. I said, I want God. I want the Holy Lord, Ghost God, a lot more than I want them cigarettes. Right. And then the Lord had already worked with me. I had smoked a joint with my sister-in-law, ex-sister-in-law now. And I shook all night. And I said, God, if you let me live till morning, I'll never smoke another joint. And I didn't. Hallelujah. But the devil, he's always on the job trying to tempt us. Yes, and I've dreamed that I have cigarette smoke in my mouth when I'd wake up from sleeping. Yes. And uh, I was just thinking, well, he's even tempting me in my sleep, but he's a liar. Yes, he is. Because I don't want that. God took that away. All right. I worked so hard because my ex-husband, he smoked. And it was so hard to quit smoking because of that. And, you know, his sister smoked. Mm -hmm. But I just thank God that he helped me. My mom told me, said, well, Carolyn, get you some gum. <clears throat> and I said, well, Mama, i got to do something. I said, I can't continue to smoke. I said, because the Lord don't want me smoking. Right. Oh. Because I couldn't smoke around Brother Billy. I couldn't even let Brother Billy see my cigarette, and it wasn't even lit. Mm -hmm. I said, no. I said, uh, and so the Lord just, little by little, he helped me. It was a struggle, really? but God helped me. Oh, and, I, and I said, well, I want God, and I want the Holy Ghost more than I want them cigarettes. Right. And uh, I just thank God that he helped me through all of it and and helped me. Because uh, I know I could have probably been a, a gambler and a, a, a wine drinker or a booze drinker. But I know it was just by the grace of God that he helped me not be that way, Brother Mark, and helped me not want to be that way. Mm -hmm. right. I'm allergic to wine. <laughs> They put, sulfide, they put sulfide in it, and I'm allergic to sulfur. And I just, I said, well, Lord, I just thank you that I I can't drink them, th them things, and I don't desire to drink them. And I just thank him for what he's done for me, brother. Lord, I believe yes. he's brought me a long way, and I know i got a long way to go, but y'all just uh, pray for me that I'll go all the way with the Lord. Thank Amen. you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yes. Yes. I'm talking livers again. I started right. smoking when I was nine years old. And I smoked until I was sick of the Holy Ghost when I was 23 years old. And I I, I could just eat a cigarette almost because mm -hmm. it was a hunger for it. Mm -hmm. And I was going to quit. And I started trying to quit. And I'm telling you, I found out how weak I was <coughs> and how little I was. I couldn't quit smoking them cigarettes. And I kept going to the altar and praying for the Holy Ghost and kept trying to throw them cigarettes away. I threw them <coughs> cigarettes away and bought a cigarette before I got good to a place where somebody else walked. Amen. Amen. And anyhow, uh, the Lord baptized me with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Never one of Thank you, Jesus. Never one of Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, uh, I would, I, I would stop to see if you score by a pack of cigarettes. Uh -huh. Be riding down the road smoke, and smoke one. Yes. Get down to the butt, throw it out the window, you know, and 
next thing I know, I'm, I'm crying and praying and asking the Lord to help me. And, and that whole pack of cigarettes goes out the window. Right. Because I'm, you know, I'm uh, really trying. That's right. And uh, But then I got through praying and crying and got to the next store and bought another pack. Ooh, I'd probably be rich buying a thousand dollars in that cigarette. The thing about it is, is uh, you know, when I purposed in my heart that I was going to quit, yes, the urge got worse. Oh, I smoked yeah. double time. Oh. I mean, I'm smoking about a pack a day in yeah. a 24 hour period, something like that. And uh, when I was trying to quit, it it got to a pack and a half, two packs. But uh, I kept praying. Yes, and, just, right. and one day they just, there was no more. All right. uh, I worked with a guy at Slill Rap, and every day for lunch, he wanted to go to, um, uh, what did they call it, the pony? Yeah. <coughs> uh, uh, Brenda worked there one time. Uh, but I told him, I said, not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and you know that went on for two years? Oh. Not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so I've got that saying, not today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Maybe tomorrow. But then when tomorrow comes, I, I've got that saying, not today. Praise maybe the Lord. Tomorrow. Right. You know, uh -uh. No, I ain't planning on it. There's oh, no right. way I can plan. Right. Uh, I oh. plan to be free in Jesus Christ. Hey. Somebody else. Thank you, Somebody Lord. else right quick. Thank you, Lord. Brother Mark, when, before I got in church and everything, I, I smoked. I, I got up in the morning time, I smoked a cigarette before I ate breakfast. <clears throat> and I smoked all day, and when I got off work, uh -huh. I stopped at a nightclub on Lamar Avenue up there, and I stayed at closed about 1 o'clock in the morning. I was smoking six and seven packs a day. Whoa. And I went in there one night, started to leave. I bought my new pack of cigarettes. Open, I got in the car, opened it up, pulled out on the street, lit one up. There's a voice that said, you don't want that. I looked on the outside, wasn't nobody on the sidewalk, wasn't no car behind me, wasn't nobody in the back seat or nothing. I was scared. <laughs> so. I started taking another draw, and that boy said, I said, you don't want that. I looked again. <laughs> oh. You know, I looked at that cigarette, you know, I don't want that. I thumped it out Jesus. the window, took that pack, wadded it up, threw it out in the middle of Mar Avenue, and I hadn't smoked a cigarette since, and that's been 40 some odd years ago. And my nephew, every time I'm doing, every time we'd go somewhere, he said, he said, you gonna smoke, you gonna smoke a cigarette tonight? And I said, I ain't smoking no cigarette. Yeah, you gonna smoke a cigarette. He slide them over. I said, I ain't smoking. Put you back over here, blow smoke in my face. Yeah, don't that smell good? And don't you want? I said, I ain't smoking one. You can forget it. I'm not smoking a cigarette. Amen. And I had, and I thank God for it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody else. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give everybody an opportunity. We, we, we wore those cigarettes out tonight, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Right. We beat that little cigarette devil. Yeah. Beat him up good. Amen. Anybody? Well, I ain't going to let it pass. I was trying to let everybody else have a chance. Because yeah. I love my Jesus. I love yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh he is worthy of all honor and praise. Yes. If I could look back and see what he's delivered me from. Yes. Oh, my God, he's a great God. Yes. And I'm just excited as to where he's going to take us. He's got great things in store for his people. Oh, I just praise him. Thank you, Father. Oh, You said something there. Thank you, Jesus. Brought something to my mind. And then just as soon as I was going to say it, it went Bless out. Jesus. But that was Jesus. good. Amen. All the things he's done. Oh, let me tell you something. You know, the, not long ago, how many remembers me saying that, you know, he that, uh, he forgave much. Yes. But loved him more. Y'all remember me yes. saying that? Amen. Much is given, oh. much is required. A lot of people say, well, I just praise God that I didn't walk there. 
I never smoked a cigarette. And that's wonderful. I never right. smoked a joint. I never smoked a joint. Thank you. That I know of. And I don't think I did. But because somebody said I would know it. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, somebody that God has forgiven much All about and taken much away. Thank you. I knew those are the ones that's going to love him even more. Oh, they know where oh, they yes, came from. God. That's right. Don't you know where they came from? Thank you, Jesus. He brought us out. You know what the Bible says? That he brought us out of the mighty state. Yes, he did. And they go to song about it too. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, I know there's people out there that God has forgiven much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Much yes. more than he had to forgive me for. And I know Jesus. that when they love him, they love him with oh, all they have. How do they love him even more? Oh, I don't know how anybody can love him any, any more than I do. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I, mean, I, I think about the Lord constantly. Lord, He's Lord, always Lord. on my mind. I'm always thinking. About the goodness you, of God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And that's not trying to lift me up or anything. I'm just trying to tell you that I, I love the Lord. Oh, yes, I God. Yes. His, I want to see his salvation go forth. Amen. And I want to yes. be in the midst of it when it happens. That's right. Just yes. Your turn. Was you going to testify to me? Bless the okay. Lord. I thought you was going to you raise your hand. I thought you was. Getting ready to go, and I missed you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the okay. Lord. All right. Well, I'm glad that everybody that wanted to testify testified. Thank you, God. Thank you, we testify Lord, the, you, of the glory of the Lord and how that He Lord, does the mighty works. Thank you, God. How do do? Now, I know that on Wednesday night so far, we've been talking about the mystery of godliness. That's right. And, uh, I'm going to use a scripture tonight that's got one of the scriptures in it uh, that we're going to be reading or we've already read. Yeah, I think we've already read in Ephesians 1. But anyway, Ephesians, the first chapter. I want you to, you know, I, I keep pushing praise. Praise. Thank you, Jesus. Praise. Yes. I mean, it, the, you know, he says, make a joyful noise yes. to the Lord. Thank you, right. yes. Just make a noise. You don't, right. you don't yes. have to say words. You, you might just holler. Oh, holler God, to the Lord. Lord. Thank you, God. Yes. But it's all in praise. Praise. That's right. Verse 6 says, to the praise of the glory of his grace, Thank you. wherein he hath made us. Accepted, accepted in the beloved. We have been accepted into the beloved. Thank you, God. Amen. That means we're 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 fellow citizens of 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 that godly nature. Because that's what He's called us into to walk in His nature. That's right. Amen. We're not to walk in our nature like we do. No. We, we want to, and I was telling, I don't know if it was this morning or this afternoon, telling Brother Bill and Sister Angela and whoever else was listening that, you know, uh, we're not to know each other really by our names. That's right. We are to know each other by the Spirit. Spirit yes. Our right. spirits are to try other spirits. That's right. And right. when we're trying them, and we find out that their spirit is with our spirit. Amen. Then there's two right there with the same spirit. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's what this is. This is oneness. Is it two or more right. degree of such as any one thing whatsoever they shall ask it shall be done. That's right. right. Amen. This is the gospel or the teaching of oneness. 
Yes. See? Amen. Going to be one with God. And, and Jesus even prayed over in, I think it's in St. John, maybe 17, where he prayed. But he prayed for us. Yes. How do you know he prayed for us, Brother Mark? Because I read where he prayed for his disciples. That's right. right. And then he prayed for those that are going to come in because uh -huh. of the disciples. That's right. right. Their yes. ministries. That's right. Praise so he prayed for us yes. because we are uh, we are of the apostles' doctrine. That's right. Yeah. right. Hallelujah. I don't know any other doctrine besides that. That's right. Ain't no other. Mm -mm. That's right. But to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood. That's right. We have redemption because of his blood. That's right. Hallelujah. Because he went to Calvary and shed it. That's we right. have redemption. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. According to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself. Amen. That's right. I mean, he purposed in himself that he's going to. Reveal these things to the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. If we're going to be the body of Christ, we've got to know what the head is thinking. Amen. See, Jesus is the head. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the head of the church. That's right. He's the head of the bride. That's right. So we Amen. have to come and do as the head tells us to do. Amen. This is his word. And you know something? You don't have to you you don't have to clean yourself up. No. You don't have to do that. That's why. You make an effort, you come down to the altar as you are and lay it on the altar and God will forgive you. That's right. That's what he said. He said he will forgive you. And it's in his blood because of forgiveness. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one. All things in Christ. Thank the doctrine of oneness. Amen. We preach one God, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. It is the gospel of oneness. Now I'm telling you something else about the gospel of oneness. Amen. It's going to bring everything into, into Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. All the people in the world that are... Christians living for God. God is going to reveal His Word. We cannot have separate doctrines. No. no we, we can can't. only have the one true doctrine. That's why we right. have to search the Scriptures, for in them we think we have eternal life. Right. Amen. And they are they which testify of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we need to really search. And, and find out what the doctrine of Jesus Christ Amen. is. Right. Amen. A lot of people say, "Well, you know, we don't we don't believe in doctrine." Well, I believe in doctrine. I believe in There's doctrine. only one doctrine. Amen. That's the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We might agree on water baptism in Jesus' name, oh. but then may disagree on something else. That's right. But we cannot disagree. No. We've got to. Come to the knowledge of what the word is saying. Hey, right, man. And rightly divide it. That's what the Bible says. We need to rightly divide the word, word of truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven. And which are on earth, even in Him. Yes. It's, it's all got to do with Him. Amen. Right. Yeah. See, down here when we have a wedding, well, I guess it's going to be about the same way, but the bride's the star. Yes. But when, we have this, when we're in this wedding, we're going to realize that Jesus Christ 
is the star. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Now, we're going to shine with the glory of God. Listen to me. Amen. We're going to shine with the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. You know, something we, when we get over there, we've got a job to do. I mean, our work is not completed because why would we need to know all things even as we're known? We got a work to do somehow or another, right. and we got to and and, and something. It's, it's something big. Amen. I mean, everybody got heaven. Talk about heaven. Uh -huh. Maybe just about got it all wrong. That's right. Heaven's going to be a lot different than what we think. That's right. Amen. That's right. In whom also we have obtained. An inheritance. I'm an heir of God. Yes. And I'm a joint heir with yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Christ Jesus. Amen. Right. Joint heir with him. Do you know why I'm a joint heir with him? Because he was made a man. Yes. That's right. right. And that man, listen to me what that man did. That man walked on the face of this earth for 33 and a half years. Right. right. Never Amen. one time did one sin. Right. Thank you, Jesus. But he was tempted at all points as we are, yet without sin. He proved that by the Spirit of God, we could overcome sin. Right. Thank you, Lord. We can overcome it. Yes. We don't have to sin every day. No, sir. We can be above sin. Only in Jesus Christ. That's right. We've got to get in the mind of Christ. That's right. We've got to stop thinking about the world as we see it. We got to start thinking about the mind of Christ. I want right. the mind of Christ. Yes, God. I want yes. to be like Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. Amen. I want to walk in His Praise image. You, I want to walk in His knowledge. Hallelujah! The footsteps that He walked, and I'm talking about the spiritual footsteps. I want That's to walk right. in those footsteps. Oh, yes, God. Right. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord. Hallelujah! Follow Him. Follow Him all the way because He is my inheritance. Amen. He is my inheritance. Yes, he is. I have in, I have I will inherit. That's right. God. Thank you, Lord. And well, I get to thinking about God and the things of God. Listen to me. Yes. We talked about Moses, how that God put him in the cleft of the rock and put his hand over him, shielded Amen. him. Because Moses wanted to see God in God said, well, Moses, no man has ever seen me and live. Right. That's right. So he said, I tell you what I do, so I'm gonna, there's a cleft there in the rock. I'm going to put you in it. Yeah. And I'm going to cover you with my hand. Yeah. Right. And as I go by and my hinder parts start going by, I will remove my hand and you can see my hinder parts. All right. Amen. Now just think about it. The Bible says that his face... Holy Show it glow yes. with a mighty glow. I mean, it's like light bulb. It was probably as bright as the sun. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Or brighter because, listen to me, the people of Israel, the Bible says, couldn't even look steadfastly at it. That's right. That's right. Because of the glory of God that was shining from it. Now, think about heaven now. Yes. All he seen was the hinder parts. That's right. And that happened to him. Think Amen. about the glory that shall be revealed oh, in yes. us. That's Think right. about the glory that about. shall be revealed right. you, in us. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Thank Ain't that glorious? Oh, in whom we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Hallelujah. This is his will. Hallelujah. This is after his own will. That's right. Nobody else. Nobody else brought this about. This is Christ Jesus. He done this. Amen. In whom also, in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In whom also after that you believe, listen to me. Yes. After you believe, he sealed you. Man. 
He placed a seal Thank you, upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sealed you by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And there's no man, listen to me, there is no man, there is nothing that can pluck you out of the Father's That's right. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. There's nothing. Jesus. Keep your eyes on the Father. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Follow Him because He is the way, Amen. the truth, and the life. Amen. Hallelujah. We may have a lot here, but we're going to have a lot more about it. Oh, yeah. More yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. And Thank I'm you. looking forward yeah. to that day. Hallelujah. We are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. It was promised to us. Right. Now, if we listen to what the Word of the Lord says and we follow after Jesus Christ, come on. We have been sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. All right. Which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession. Do you know what the purchased possession is? Oh, It's his body. That's right. He paid to save us and to change us. Right. Yes. And we're in a process, even today, the more we study upon the word of the Lord, the more we hear the word of the Lord. See, the word of the Lord is that faith coming by hearing. 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 And hearing by the word of the Lord, God. Amen. That's what it is. You have to have faith. In the right. word. You have to hear the word yes. and believe the word. Right. And when you believe the word, the Lord is going to... Mm, yes. We talk about... We talk about how good we can feel down here, especially when the Holy Ghost gets on you, you know, having chills running up down your spine, and, and uh, you, Lord. you just feel... Sometimes you feel like you can just fly away. Oh, yes. How many of you ever feel like oh, that? Oh, no, my daddy. I feel like I can just fly away. I'm Thank feeling you, so good. Yes. yes. I can just fly away. Oh, I love that feeling. Amen. I love to feel like I can fly away. Yeah. Amen. Right. You Praise know, the Jesus. Lord blesses us with, with, with that, them blessings. Those are Amen. blessings. Amen. And he blesses us with those blessings to keep us strong and keep us going on. That's right. To give us strength. Amen. Because Amen. trials are going to come. And when they come, we're going to have to have that strength. That's why the blessings All come. Right. Amen. Somebody said, well, why are we being tried? He wants a pure bride. Oh, he wants the one that's trustworthy. Hey. We talk, I don't know if we talk about it tonight or not, but talk tonight about straying away and, and worshiping sin. Right. Yes. That's what it is. Stray right. away and you worship sin. And Amen. He has promised to seal us yes. with His Spirit, Holy Spirit. with His Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. He promised that. Hallelujah, Jesus. So that we could be saved. Right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that we're the Lord. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Thank you, God. I, I, like I said, this morning, it's, getting, it's getting so hard. The whole from Wednesday night to Sunday night from Sunday night, Sunday from Thank Wednesday. You, Jesus. Because it just gets all inside of me. Do something. That's right. A long time ago, the Spirit of the Lord come upon me and I was preaching and standing up in the middle of the bed. <laughs> preaching. Thank you, Jesus. My wife woke me up and says, Are you awake? <laughs> well, I am now when I was. I was having a good old time. <laughs> I, I don't know who I was preaching to, but I was preaching. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. And it wasn't long until uh, her sister ran into the bedroom and got down on her knees and said, I need prayer. Thank oh. you, Lord. So we yeah, right. had a church that night. Thank Praise you, Jesus. I didn't have to call I was up in the middle of the bed preaching. Thank you, God. But Lord, you, you know, now the devil 
wants to fight me in my dreams. Yes. And uh, but he's a liar. Yes, that's right. right. Yes. And right. I resist him. Hallelujah. He's going to yes. have to leave it alone. That's right. Because I'm not letting it go. No. Amen. Hallelujah. He tried to kill me the other night in my dream. Mm -hmm. I got, I, I was dreaming. I don't know who I was in the car with, but I was in the passenger seat, which most of the time is where I ride in now. Uh, but I was in the passenger seat, and something was going on up in front of us. So I told the driver I was going to get out and go see what it was. And when I got out of the car, there was some pink like goons or something uh, pretty thick. It wasn't like as loose as jello, but it was loose. And it wrapped around me. Mm. And I was trying to get out, and I, I, I felt myself dying. It had caught me in that trap. Yes. The devil was trying to kill me. That's right. Hallelujah. But at the last minute, at the last second, right before it closed completely upon me, the Lord shook me and woke me up. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know what it was saying or what it was representing, but the devil is a liar and he is the father of it.
Lord, you made the body God and you can do whatever you need to do. We give you preeminence, God, over our lives, God. Lead us, God, to all the world, God. As we seek you, Father, we thank you for your healing power. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, God. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for strength, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise Praise We worship you, God. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, I'm going to say, pray and leave. Yeah. We got to work. Pray and leave. We got to work. Pray and leave. We got to work. Pray and leave. We want to see God move. Heal new sick. Save soul. Cleanse that sinner. Make him whole. We got to work. Pray and leave. The Lord is going to move. Yes. Hallelujah. It's all about us working for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that uh is the video on? No, it's on. It's on. It's going. I'm gonna turn it off. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, too.